Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Rockwood number 441-605 polished clear coated brass low door dome stop. This is a 441. Typical sort of um, stop, floor mounted stop. You'll see it in countless applications. Uh, there has been a whole line of more uh, de updated designs that have come into play from Rockwood in the last decade or two. Uh, the 441 and its ilk goes back several decades. Who knows to when, uh, but it is a uh, typical floor stop that you'll see um, that was common in the industry before, in my opinion, smarter versions of it came out. Um, and we'll take a closer look at that. So let's take a closer look at what the 441 is. Now the 441 is a sister product to the taller model. And I forget its part number. It might be 446 maybe. We'll take a look. Don't quote me. But where you would use the 441 is when you have a 3 8 undercut. Uh, or clearance, uh, actually. Clearance. 3 8 7 16 half inch. Maybe 9 16 5 8 is really starting to stretch it. There are two terms in play. Clearance and undercut. Undercut's the common term that I think is used, and I know that I use it improperly, and I am, I was initially here. Undercut is the dimension from the underside of the door to the bottom of the jams, okay? Clearance is what's left over between the bottom of the door and the top of the floor. The jam could be sitting on top of the finished floor. In that case, the clearance equals undercut. But if the jam sits on the subfloor, and then you've brought mastic and tile or hardwood, whatever the case might be, the bottom line is whatever dimension you have from the underside of the door to the top of the floor where you're going to apply this, that's the magic dimension that we need to consider. So let's bring the tape measure up to it. So the uh, lip thickness here, it's about 3 16 I think the catalog is going to tell us that it's quarter inch. It's not. It's, it's shy on quarter inch. So you can see from the tape measure where I'm putting this. If I hold it, I'm just going to hold it sideways for convenience sake. You know, a 3 8 undercut, a 5 16 undercut, all of that's going to work really well. But as we go back to that, you know, just to study that, how much of a maximum undercut would you, or clearance would you be at? 5 8 maybe? You know, typical 3 quarter clearance, 3 quarter undercut, this, I would go with the taller one, definitely. You want as much of the door making contact with the Duraflex bumper, and that's what that's called, by the way. Okay. Uh, not not replaceable, unfortunately. They don't sell these Duraflex bumpers separately, which I wish they did. Uh, they do in many of their products, just not all of them. Um, right on. Now the balance of the dimensions are going to be about an inch and 11 sixteenths diameter, maybe inch and a half. It has this post down here, this fastener prep that's here. You'll drill two holes. The anchor will go into this hole. This hole back here is just going to keep that from rotating. Okay, That's all that that's going to do. This is 605. That means three things. It means it's made of solid brass, that it is in a polished finish, and that it has a clear coat on it to protect the finish, give it some longevity. Unlacquered brass is a, is a, a, a relatively common finish that you'll find in decorative hardware. Rockwood can do unlacquered brass on these. I'm quite sure of it. Um, I believe they bring the castings in from overseas and then do the finishing in Pennsylvania. Uh, unlacquered brass is only ordered when someone wants the look of solid brass polished without a lacquer, number one. Number two, they'll order it unlacquered when they want the finish to age as it will age without the lacquer protective coating on it. Um, is, is why they would want that. They want it to patina, if that's the right word, age with exposure to the environment um, naturally. So those are the two reasons. Uh, no, nothing beats solid brass that is polished. And when you see it without lacquer, you can really tell how magnificent the base material is. Anyway, this will include a screw package, or a fastener package, I should say. Wood screw, machine screw, plastic anchor, lead expansion anchor. So any flooring condition I think that you're going to encounter you're going to be able to handle uh, with this deployment of fasteners. And I'm a fan of Rockwood because they always include, not always, but many of their products include a comprehensive fastener package. There's no running to the hardware store for a screw when you're done. 
Um, the only thing that you might have trouble with is if you were to, you know, discover that you need a longer fastener for whatever reason, and getting something longer than that, that's probably an inch and a half is what that probably is there. Getting something in a complementary finish might be difficult, but I never have, I really don't ever have calls. Oh my gosh, I need a, I need a funny length or you know screw and I need it in polished brass. Another thing is maybe getting a security screw could be a problem in a brass finish. If you need a Torx or a pin Torx, you know, for your application that might be a challenge. But these are very, very few and far between. Let's switch now to the screen view and let's take a closer look at the supporting documentation. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Here is the item that we are indeed looking at. Not, not too terribly much here to see. You've got your generic image. Uh, we have extended description, low dorm, dome stop, made of brass, polished, clear coated. They say the diameter is one and seven eighths. It's not, it's shy on that. Inch and an eighth overall height. Yeah, that's right. The base, again, closer to three sixteenths. Duraflex bumper, fastener package, and the fastener package is literally buried in the part number. If you change that part number for this low dome stop, you'll get a different fastener package. For use with doors without thresholds, or doors that don't have much of an undercut or clearance at all. There's a link here to the template, and that will give us the balance of the dimensional properties beyond the, those dimensions I've already provided. Okay. There's also a link to the product brochure, which is here that will allow us to review these items, uh, these stops that are grouped together. So you'll see we've got a 440 and a 441. Again, the difference is the screw package. Flathead wood screw, plastic anchor. If you need that machine screw in the lead anchor, order the 441 versus the 440. There's a combination unit here. It's comprised of a 441 and then this riser that's down here, which is a 444 riser that's 3 8 tall. If you have a job site uh, and you're not sure of how many you need, lows and talls, highs and talls, um, and what I'm driving at there is the 442-443 part number, which is a half-inch base diameter, so the tall and the short. You could order the combination unit if you're truly not sure how many you'll need of each. You could order some shorts, some talls, and some combination units. Uh, you could order... Uh, all combination units. You could order shorts and then uh, and talls and then some risers and different thickness uh, heights that you would have here, the 449. You could order all 441 H's because this with the low lip length but the greater overall height is that smarter development over time developing away from the classic short and tall ha uh, dome stops where you can handle you know no undercut or, or, or very small undercut up to a taller three-quarter or greater undercut because of that overall height of 1 in 11 sixteenths inch, okay? The 442 and 443, same, comp, same concept, concept, sorry, half inch height, different screw packages. Then you've got the 449 riser, specify the, the thickness and then the um, finish, but you won't get a machine screw with this. So if you added a one inch riser underneath a 443, you'll have a machine screw, but it'll be too short. So you, you'll need to account for that. The 445 and 445H, same concept of the low and the universal. What's nice about these heavy duty versions is that they have two mounting points each. This modern style with a single mounting point and the 440 series with a single mounting point, you will see those damaged with high uses, they'll get knocked out of the floor or severely bent. The fastener will be bent and this will be tipped over. These heavier duty units allow for greater um, use, volume, abuse on the opening. Uh, major airport, major airline and their um, members only club, these doors, you know, that get lots of use. Um, yeah, you're going you're gonna to specify immediately a heavy duty application. This 446 looks awfully nice in polished brass, but it's no good if the door is pushed so hard over time that it's bent out, the fastener's ripped out, the acre's gone, and now the $500 lock or the $1,000 pull handle is, is made unintentional contact with the $1,000 drywall repair work. Anyway, the point being, there you go. 
Now, there is a link below this video here to the manufacturer's page. When you click on that, you'll be able to pull up not only all of the Rockwood products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. And when you fire that up, you'll be able to pull up, um, you'll be able to do a find function, let's say for 441, and get to the page where you'll find it. But the purpose of that is you'll be in the proper section for doorstops, wall mounted, floor mounted, baseboard mount, um, those that are very lightweight, light duty, like the 432W that are just economically uh, positioned, they're rubber that is self-adhesive mount, all the way up to the models that you drill a hole into the concrete, then pack it with mortar, which would be something like the 463. This gets literally put down into mortar with anchoring grout. Extremely heavy duty. A half inch diameter, you know, bolt running down through here. Okay, and everything pretty much in between. We sold a whole mess of these 465s today. Um, three and a quarter inch diameter, half inch lag bolt, very heavy duty, meant for lots of use. Not very pretty. You're not going to put that in the, you know, high end members only club at the major airport. Uh, but you'll put it at a school where those doors are going to get beat about. There's no doubt. Okay, more variations on that. Uh, different functions. Hold open functions as well. Obviously for non-fire rated doors, you'd see these. Continuing on, you can get the concept of what we're driving at. Let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, very nice quality product here from Rockwood. This is going to be available because it's made of brass. It's going to be available in all of the common finishes. Your brasses, your bronze, your chromes, your nickels. They can do oil rub. They can powder coat. Black, white, red, I think they can do all of those. Black is very common. The year's 2020 right now. We're just exiting this abysmal year. It'll go down in history as a pretty awful one. Um, but black happens to be a very popular color now and has been for a couple of years. We'll probably continue to be popular for at least a decade and historically black is a common finish if you looked at catalogs from 100 years ago everyone offered black these sine waves of popularity of finishes continue on you know in the 70s it was antique brass uh, etched bronze satin bronze the 80s of course polished brass the 90s was a satin chrome into satin nickel into oil rub that bled over to the 2000s then you had um, you know oil rub the ver the derivatives of oil rub Venetian different distressed you know finishes of that moving into your powder coated finishes your blacks um, very popular and common thankfully they all um, are still available and the only one that's really not been substantially in my three decades of experience and being able to think about what happened before that would be Satin Brass. Satin Brass 606 or US4 um, doesn't, can't claim a decade on its own that, that I can tell um, maybe before my time I suppose. Anyway, if you have any questions on the Rockwood 441 and a 605 finish or any other Rockwood product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you very much. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.